it is Neil and Erica again, throwing down our dance moves in the trenches. Uh, in all seriousness though, this is our third video vlog in the series. In the first couple of video snippets, you'll see some footage from before we left for Edmonton for the INBF Edmonton show. Neil is not a morning trainee, so that's why things got a little bit helter-skelter that morning. And these were just some deadlifts. This was actually deload week, and I ended up, that was just because of the strap, but I ended up hurting myself during that workout. Uh, I had some back pain. Um, as you can see, Erica is just as ridiculous as I am. I think that's what fitness call, experts call engaging your core. This was a really light bench press. I'm not even totally sure why I was doing that. Are you gonna put some weight on the bar? That's all I'm supposed to do. It's so light. And uh, here's just some more footage. This is for the ladies. Uh, we do more than just squats, bench, and deadlifts. So this was just some accessory work uh, during the week. And then the next clip coming up here is actually some block pulls. So I took a bit of time. I took some days off and I came back. Uh, and was able to pull off blocks in the period with 425 for triples during this week. Uh, so the injury was pretty minor. I thought it was more serious, but it ended up not being as bad as I thought. I don't know if I'll ever see you again. Bye. Bye. All right, so we're now in California. This was our first day at Six Flags Magic Mountain, just north of Los Angeles. Um, how did this, this day go, Erica? This isn't Disneyland. I'm not a big fan of those sorts of rides. There was a lot of well, up until about mid-afternoon when I actually started to get sick from roller coaster after roller coaster. When your nervous system was like, all right, peace out, dude. So I was having fun at this point, but this was actually the first ride of the day. By the end of the day, I was pretty nauseous and I actually had to shut it down due to you too many loops such as this. This was actually the ride where I felt sick after I got off. Uh, it was a fun day, but I, I did most of it. I did one. So this was actually a really funny day. We drove around for, I don't know, four hours trying to find a sufficient gym for Neil's lifting needs. We went to a number of gyms, but they didn't have the equipment that we're used to training on. And so instead of compromising our workout, we put all the weights on the bar okay. and the bar can handle it, as you can see right there. But we may do. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't ideal, but it allowed us to get the job done. Where we got the weight in. And also um, run on the treadmill, which if you're a runner, you understand that going on the treadmill is awful. This is actually a little bit of Jayism. I'm trying to do a little bit of dancing. And how far did you run on the treadmill this, this week? That morning was 17 miles, and it was awful. But you got the job done. I did, yes. And I lifted while you ran. Mm -hmm. And again, it wasn't ideal, but we made it work and uh, we moved on from there and we still got our training in for the week. So this was just some squats, I think around 425 for 4 or 5. Uh, and the weights were moving well after I took a bit of time off that injury. So uh, I was pretty happy about that and your run felt good. Mm -hmm. And nobody got attacked by a homeless person because that was your concern with me running out. <laughs> so now we are in Disneyland. When we entered the gates, I actually started crying. I was so excited and so happy. So this was definitely the highlight of the trip for me. Princess Castle, we were at Disneyland the first, um, one of the days. And how many hours were we there? Eight hours? Uh, we were there 12 hours the one day. And then the other day was eight hours. That so, was after training in the morning. So I ran 17 miles, and then we were at Disneyland for all those hours. And I kind of wish I was wearing a pedometer to see the amount of steps that it would have been taken in that day was crazy. And then this was the end of the day. Uh, the way that Disney does things is absolutely crazy. Everything is so well put together. It's all timed. Like it's, it's just absolutely surreal to see it in person. So this was their nighttime parade. Uh, and you can see Mickey up there dancing. And you can hear him too. 
And this was after, this was the end of the 12 hour day. So it's pretty cool to see all this stuff and be a part of it and to see how happy you were. I cried three times that day. <laughs> And then coming up, this was the other day, this was actually at California Adventure Park. Uh, this was the World of Color show with the fountains on the water, which again was just absolutely surreal. The way they timed the fountains with the music and the lights. And it was just a really good way to finish off our time at Disney, at the Disney parks. Um, so yeah. It was just spectacular. I've never seen anything like that in my life. The flames were super hot, we were so close. And then, so this was just another gym that we trained at. This is Bart Kwan's gym in Los Angeles, Barbell Brigade. So they have a pretty big online following. Uh, we knew it would be a well outfitted gym for our style of lifting. And uh, it did not disappoint. So this was squats right after I had a bit of a mishap and I had three plates on one side and none, uh, none on the other. And the bar actually toppled onto the floor. I was in the washroom at this point and I came out and I'm like, oh, I, can't, I can't leave you for five minutes. Uh, but luckily Bart helped me uh, clean up the weights, but I was pretty embarrassed. Um, but this session went well again. I think the weights are lighter in California. I think so, because this, this was flying. This was 405 for 3 by 6 this day, and uh, it did not stick at all, and it moved really, really well. So we had a good time training here. Thank you to Bart for having us at his gym, and uh, we will most definitely be back because it was a fantastic facility. and uh, Very clean and friendly. Definitely. Where are we? Muscle Beach. Venice, Muscle Beach, the birthplace of bodybuilding in Venice, California. Getting our workout on this week. Erica has nothing to say. She's currently freezing, even though we're in California. It's cold out today. Say, she has a sweater on. She's in disguise because she knows she's a celebrity. We're going to be going for a run slash bike after this, which I'm pretty excited about. I think I smell pot. For All sure right. you do. Peace out. So here I am pulling some deadlifts at Muscle Beach. I wasn't sure exactly what to do with my footwear because I normally lift in sock feet and I only had running shoes there to climb for mm. her run. So I may do and I had my sock Strong feet lady. Nice. There was sand everywhere all over the, the gym floor because obviously it's outside. Uh, but even for any pulling or squatting movements, uh, it was tough to get footing. So this is not a gym that we would train at all the time, but it was definitely an amazing one-time experience to lift here, uh, lift outdoors at the original Muscle Beach. There was also far too many birds here, and if you know me, you know that I'm not so into the birds. There's all Neil's fan club. <laughs> so these were just sets of, I think, 505, and uh, yeah, the, the guys there really got behind me for these lifts. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was funny lifting there because you could see tourists walking by and they'd be snapping photos. and It was interesting. Everyone was very, very friendly. Here's Erica warming up on overhead press. And just the views there and having the, the ocean in the background and the beach. It was like not, no experience I've ever had before. So it was really neat to, to see and be a part of that. Uh, but like I said, I don't think we would train here all the time if we did later. You know, I'd need a baby shot. So we're just finishing up some squats. That's really cool with the sign in it. And if any of you have watched the movie Pumping Iron, you'll notice a lot of this stuff from the movie. So it was super cool for a bunch of meatheads like me and I. The podium is actually just off to the right uh, where Arnold would pose on. And there's actually a, it was more of like a, just bars and stuff for doing pull-ups and then they had like a speed bag and stuff, which is actually the 
original place where Muscle Beach was, and then this was built shortly after. So this was some bench press. This felt really heavy on this day. This was 295 for fours. I think maybe you were just afraid of the birds overhead. Could have just been the birds or the, the rust on all the bars. <laughs> afraid of getting tetanus. And uh, yeah, that was about it. And from here, we checked out the Mecca. So the original Gold's Gym. We had some pizza. Mm -hmm. And we strolled down the boardwalk. And that was it for our trip. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching, you guys. And we'll talk to you hopefully next week.